In this video, we're going to have a look at how to find the area of a sector. Now, one thing you need to know before you do this is you need to know how to find the area of a circle. Okay, so let's just recap how to find the area of a circle. If you have a circle and you're told that its radius is 6 centimetres, to find this circle's area, you're going to use the formula A area equals pi r squared, where r is your radius. Now, if we see that this circle has a radius of 6 centimetres, to find its area, all we would do is just sub in 6 for the radius. So we do pi times 6 squared, and we find that this circle would have an area of 113.1 centimetres squared. Okay. Now we're looking at the area of a sector. Now a sector is just a circle, a slice cut out of a circle. So if we imagine that we slice this out of our circle, so that our focus is now on the slice that's left, okay? And if we say that the angle at the heart of the sector is 30 degrees, we know that the, ang the, the area which is inside this sector is part of the area of the whole circle. It's a fraction of the area of the whole circle. Okay, So the area of a sector is a fraction of the area of its parent circle, if you like. Okay, So let's just write, down, write that down. We'll see the sector area, I'll just call that SA. The sector area is just a fraction of the circle area. Okay? Now, what determines what the fraction is going to be? Now, we know that we have here an angle of 30 degrees. That's 30 degrees out of a full circle of 360 degrees. So our fraction is 30 over 360 because our angle here is 30, and in a full circle we have 360 degrees. So that is what determines our fraction. We look at the angle, and we write the angle over 360. Now, to find the area of a circle, we do pi r squared. Our radius, as we said before, was 6. So if we do pi times 6 squared and multiply that by 30 over 360, we find that our sector area is 9.4, and this will be centimetres squared. Okay. So that's how you find the area of a sector. Now, let's have a look at a few more examples. <clears throat> so this time <clears throat> we have a, a sector with an angle of 75 degrees and the radius is 7 meters. So the sector area is going to be a fraction of the circle area. Okay. Now that fraction this time is going to be 75 over 360. And to find the circle area, we do pi r squared. Now the radius is 7. So when we work all that out, we end up with an answer of 32.1. And it'll be meters squared to one decimal place. Okay? Let's have a look at a second example. Again, the sector area... It's just going to be a fraction of the circle area, okay? Now, that fraction this time is going to be 150 degrees out of 360 degrees because we're looking at finding the amount of space inside the sector and we know that this angle is 150 degrees. So it's a fraction of the circle area. To find the circle area, again, pi r squared. The radius this time is 18, so pi times 18 squared. We work all that out, and we get an answer of 424.1 millimeters squared this time. Okay, 424.1 millimeters squared. Now, let's have a look at a third example. We are looking at finding out the amount of space inside this sector here. Okay? Now, the angle that we're given 
doesn't refer to the sector that we're dealing with. We are looking at, if I use a different color, we are wanting to find this angle here, because that's the angle that pertains to the area which we are looking to find. That's going to be 290 degrees, okay? Because 290 plus 70 gives us 360. So don't be fooled into using the angle they give you in the question all the time. Keep your wits about you and ask yourself, is this what I want to use? So to find the sector area this time, it's going to be 290 over 360 times the circle area, which would have been pi r squared, which is pi times 5 squared. We work all that out and we get an answer of 63.3 meter squared. Okay, and that's how you find the area of a sector. Now what? That's how you find the area of a sector. Let's have a look at a few examples to do yourselves. Okay, so you can pause the video and you can uh, attempt these questions yourselves once we put in the information you need. So let's say this angle here is 40 degrees and let's say that this radius is 3 meters. Let's say that this angle here is 165 degrees. And let's say that this here is 14 centimeters. Okay. And finally, let's say this angle here is 50 degrees. And we'll say that this radius here is 8 millimeters. Okay. So, you guys pause the video and work out the area inside each of these sectors. Right then, let's have a look at each of these. We'll just stack them up so that we have enough space to show our working. Okay, right, let's have a look at question A. The sector area is going to be fraction of the circle area. The fraction this time is going to be 40 over 360. Our circle area would have been pi r squared, which is pi times 3 squared. You work all that out and you get that the area to one decimal place is 3.1 meters squared. Okay? On to the second one. Again, the sector area is going to be a fraction of the whole circle area. Our fraction is going to be 165 over 360. We multiply that by pi r squared. The radius this time is 14. We work it all out. And to one decimal place, we get an answer of 282.2 centimeters squared. Okay. And finally, this one here. Remember, it's not 50 we're going to use because our sector angle is going to be this one here. So it's going to be 310 degrees. So the sector area, again, is a fraction of the whole circle area. That fraction is going to be 310 over 360. We multiply that by pi r squared. Our radius is 8. We work it all out. And we find that the sector area this time is 173.1 to one decimal place. And our units will be millimeters squared. So that's how you find the area of a circle sector. Remember, it's just a fraction of the area of the parent circle.